welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. Unfortunately, I recorded this first uh, set of batch pre-processing uh, right after I had recorded M81 Bode's Galaxy. So the same audio issue I had with the uh, mic is present today. So if you want to step forward, Go ahead. Uh, my narration starts around uh, 225. Other than that, uh, enjoy the sped up video until then. Thank you. All right, let's start processing an M82 Cigar Galaxy. And first, I'm going to want to crop this, but where am I at as far as. All right, so we got corners don't look terrible. I'm just going to bring that in a little bit. All right. Close that out. Let's go to DBE. If you remember, we already ran an ABE and it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Take care of this. All right, bear with me while I run through and make the needed adjustments. Now you'll notice what I am doing different here than I did with M81 is all these ones along the edges, I'm going to pull away to see if it helps improve. It might be having some issues. Let's pull this one back down here. See this color pattern here? See how dark it looks? And if I pull it up here, see how much brighter it looks? So maybe this darkness down here is skewing the data uh, points. So I'm just going to pull those away from the edges uh, up around you know, the, these two bars here and uh, see if that helps me out a little bit with this background extraction.
right, don't have any points near the galaxy structure, and I pulled everything except for this little guy right here. Away from the corners or the edges, so. All right, let's see what we get. All right, yeah, I can work with that. Now a little background neutralization, so let's get ourselves a nice dark region of space. better and when were these taken 
close that out. Let's see if HDR does anything for us today. Don't think we're going to need any de-ringing, but let's just see what the defaults do for us. It really pops out some of that structure. I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that just the way it is for now. I can always come back and uh, redo it later. So since now we're non-linear, let's go ahead and create a new luminance mask. Let me apply that real quick. Okay, we're going to protect the background. And I believe that's what we want. Let's go here. ourselves a star mask. Where's our noise at? Looks like we're around 0 0.03, 0 4, so we're going to go to 0 0.06. this out. Let's go ahead and apply this. Let's go shrink the stars. Move that mask. Pop this over. stars don't have a little bit of a brightish center I can live with that it's the dimmer ones that have that I can live with that let's uh, save it first Let's do a little saturation and contrast. Oh yeah. Helps if you open up the preview. I'm gonna start over here. Let's go here. Preview. Saturation. And it's not doing anything. That one sure is. I wonder. Ah, I still have the mask applied. All right. There we go. Let's go back here. Let's bring you up a little bit. Get some of that redness in there. I want to 
affect the stars too much, but want to just pull out a little bit of that color in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll apply that. So let's go over here to contrast. Let's see if that brings us in a little bit. Sharp mask. Oh, no, not that one. Yeah, I think I'm all like that right there. So let's go ahead and apply it. Yeah, I think I kind of like it right there. Uh, close this out. Let's go ahead and save it. Now let's crop in. And I can never remember what those numbers are, so 1920 times 2.5 is 48,000. And I believe the other one is 2,700. Yep, 2,700. Okay, let's do this again. Forty eight hundred, twenty seven hundred. There we go. Let's get it centered in the frame. But before I do that, yes. Let me rotate 180. No, I don't like that. Let's undo. Let's rotate 90. Now, let's undo. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like 90 the other way. But you got to look just to make sure. Now that actually... No, I don't like it. Undo. Alright, so let's go back here. And we'll get her centered up in the frame. Yep, I like that. So we'll go ahead and save it. Uh, nope, not XISF. We want to save it as JPEG. Okay, 
let's see what it looks like in a viewer. Yep, I like it. That will be one that, uh, you know, I don't know yet. Uh, like everything, I'm going to want to sleep on it and come back, look at it tomorrow. And, you know, if I still like it, then I'll print out a little picture to put on the wall in the one hallway. And if I think it's worthy, I'll get a metal print to hang up in the upstairs. And so with that, I'm going to thank you guys for watching guys and gals actually. And, uh, yeah, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified when I upload something new, and I'm going to say, again, thank you for watching, I appreciate each and every one of you, clear skies, have a good rest of your day, weekend, or whatever the case may be, have a good one.